All right, here's the start of the garden, all the way to the left-hand side, up against the fence. Starting out, I got watermelon growing up this little trellis fence right here. And down here, got me a bunch of parsley right there. And then some poblano peppers, which they ain't started just yet. But then I got some cayenne peppers right here, which those have started. I got another watermelon plant right here, which I don't see any baby melons on that thing just yet. But they will start. And then I got some bell peppers here. Uh, some scraggly looking basil right there. And a couple heads of cabbage that are getting eaten by the grasshoppers. All right, and then over here, ah, there's my new sprinkler that I love. Um, that's another little uh, sugar baby watermelon right there. Uh, back in there, that's some uh, collard greens, which was just I planted late, but and then got some hot banana peppers right here. Here, growing up, this got me. A, these are the Corinto cucumbers right here. And tomato plant. That's a that's a Lata tomato. That's a Zapotec. That's a Minx early. And then I got little pepper plants that are right through here. And then these big, huge. Mater plants. Those are another form of Zapotec. Uh, this plant right here, this is called a spoon tomato, and I'll show you why. Because it grows tomatoes that are that size right there. We've got a few back here that might be getting ripe, right down in there. And there's some ripe right in there. So as a matter of fact, while I'm out here, you pick these things, and that's what they look like. Little, I love them in salads. And then back here, I got a black-eyed Susan vine. And then right in here, I got some more uh, Zapotec tomatoes. These are big beefs right here. And that's my spaghetti squash, which I just picked one off today. And down here, these here, I think got a little bit of root rot. Overwatered those two. But I got some big basil plants right here. And 